Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and this is the Wolf Spider. Look, 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 right here. Big wolf spider. Big, big wolf spider. Check that out. Ooh, stay here, stay here. Wow, this is a very big wolf spider, y'all. Very big, whoop, he's on my hand. Wow, that is a freaky arachnid. Very large one, too. Now, wolf spiders are primarily ground hunting spiders which means they hunt on the ground all day. They go around and they hunt down their food, similar to a wolf, and that's why it's nicknamed the wolf spider. Very, very aggressive carnivore and chases down any insects that it can overpower, even other spiders. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna put him down for a second. Now they are very fast moving spiders and it's sometimes very difficult to get them to walk on your hand and stay still. A lot of times they'll jump off now the best way to grab them is to get some dirt or some leaves on your hand to make the spider feel comfortable jumping up onto your hand. So what I'll do is I'll get him up like that. He's got all these little hooks on each of his feet and it's very freaky to have him walking on you. Wow. This is a very large one and they look very similar to a tarantula. Tarantulas have that brown hairy look but wolf spiders are quite a bit smaller. They have much longer legs. Look at that. Very long legs. Now they're very widespread throughout the world. There are a lot of species of wolf spider. And they can be um, in some areas, they will have more potent venom than others. But these definitely cannot do anything to a person too bad. And they actually have eight eyes. And two of them are very large. They have very, very good eyesight. And they can see very well. They're very fast, very agile hunters and they will actually jump on their prey if they're after something that they see and they can actually chase prey over short distances so maybe a yard or two sometimes they will chase their prey that long if it runs oh man that it really makes me nervous letting him walk on my hand like this you know you never know when he's gonna bite it feels freaky but I'm trying to keep him as calm as possible I'm trying to focus on him I'm trying to make sure that he's relaxed I'm trying to make sure that he's not in a state where he's going to want to bite me and that is very important. I've got to keep him comfortable to keep him from biting me. That's how that works. Now, wolf spiders can get fairly large. This is a very big one but they will get a bit bigger than this. And you can see they have these little feelers out in front and they actually will use that to grab prey that they've already caught. They'll grab it and pull it towards their mouth and eat it. Now they're extremely, extremely fast. It's very interesting to see how fast they are. They're not built anything like a tarantula, but they do look kind of similar to me. I don't know why, they just do. And on this one you'll see it has this light band going down, a light brown band, and that's something that some of the larger wolf spiders in this area will have. And up close, I'm actually seeing some of this, these little bandings all across this brown banding, which is pretty cool looking too. I've never noticed that. It's very cool. Alright, what I'm going to do is to pick him up. I'll show you guys the underneath part. I have to pin him with a stick. Oh my gosh. That is extremely, extremely freaky. Now, you can see the underneath part right there. That's where the fangs are. And they've got very big, big fangs. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. I am. It, it does make me a little bit nervous holding a wolf spider. They, they definitely can give you a good bite. Very freaky bug. And I've got to make sure I hold him securely so that he can't spin around and bite me. And you can notice all the little hairs in the sun glistening. Whoop, that's freaky. And that is how they get a very good sense of feel while they're walking and the hooks on the ends of their feet can help them climb. They can actually climb very well too, which is pretty interesting. Well, you know, what? I'm going to let him walk right there. Wow. They are definitely definitely freaky little critters. And I'm a little bit more secure right now. He's he's getting a little bit more um, used to this. He doesn't like me too much. He just wants to keep moving. But I have less of a chance of getting bit now than I did when I first caught him because he was more nervous.
There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.